Hello everyone. I want to start this talk off with a little experiment. I want all of you to just go ahead and draw the letter E for me on your foreheads. You may have not realized, but the E you drew was actually flipped for me. Ultimately, the question asked was for you to draw the E in my perspective, but naturally, it's natural for everyone to have drawn the E for themselves. So, here's where a little bit of consideration comes into play. It's a simple experiment that just shows that perspective and, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not a considerate person at all. So, what is the meaning of consideration? According to the Oxford Dictionary, consideration means to think carefully about something typically before making a decision. So, from this you can perceive that consideration isn't always about the other person's feelings or the other person at all. It's about how you pull in your knowledge and decide the right action for the situation. When you look at a situation from all sides, you end up considering the possibilities and all the consequences that could occur. So now I'm going to talk about how we're forgetting the, consist the considerate feelings for everyone when it comes to our current way of life. I've lived in Japan my whole life and this quality of consideration is really important there. In India, I've noticed though that this is a very underrated quality and the more stereotypical ones such as be smart, be first, and of course be the top of your class is more important. In Japan, there are two statements, omotenashi, which roughly translates to hospitality, and aite no kimochi, which means the opponent's feelings. So these two statements aroused in Japan when the tea ceremonies took place. And the tea ceremonies are a really complicated tradition where the host takes a lot of time to brew a cup of tea for each of their guests. This quality in Japan helps people to be more considerate and thoughtful so that you can anticipate their needs and adjust your actions accordingly. This is one quality in Japan that they strongly believe in and this is what makes Japan world's first in customer service. Then again, did you know that India is the world's most depressed country according to the World Health Organization? The maximum case of anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorders come in India, and most of these cases aren't even reported. 6.5% of the population suffers some kind of mental illness, and the suicide rate is 10.9 for every 1 lakh people in, in India. And it's the biggest cause of death for people in the age between 15 to 24 years. And as you can see, it's a pretty serious problem that's happening and it's estimated that in this year by this year at least 20 percent of all the cases will increase we all know the main causes for depression and anxiety so i'm not going to evaluate on that but a common cause that all of us can avoid is how we easily throw out words to each other and we don't see how hard it's going to affect the other person our modern dialect has become harsher and I don't think we really need to hurt the other person's feelings. So I like to consider and ask, do we really think about the other person's feelings? The sad thing here is that even when we realize that the other person is getting hurt, we don't always come out clean. We don't give it much weightage. But when I say this, including myself, all of us would neglect it saying that, oh, well, I don't feel the same way all the time. But ultimately, it has become a way of life. A society is built strong when we develop the feeling of consideration for each other and we have each other's backs. And I strongly believe consideration should not be an underrated quality. I want our young society to cherish this quality and build a more happy and healthy community for our future. Thank you.